Well, here's another thing that we do to start in the very beginning of practice. We do a three zone warm up, we call it. So depending on how many players you have on the ice, that would determine how many players are participating. Could be three, could be two, could be four if you have a lot of bodies. Sometimes there might be two teams, might be a peewee, uh, peewee A team here, peewee one or peewee two team, that's fine. Uh, so you decide how many people are gonna be working at the same time. But let's talk about, we'll have three people working. So in this zone here, we'd have three players standing around stationary, passing the puck, a lot of one touch passes. In the middle zone here, would be a coach right here would introduce a puck and just play keep away. Okay, the X's are trying to keep it away from the O's. Pucks go outside the blue line, the coach would just introduce another puck. And then down this end here, it's three on three cross ice. So the X's are trying to score at the opposite net, the O's are trying to score at the opposite net here. So all of these activities are going on at the same time. Um, then on the whistle, they would sprint back to their lines. This zone would go here, this zone would go here, and three new players would jump out here and start passing the puck. So you can see there's a lot of activity. Good skill work here, good heart rate, good competitive juices flowing because you're planning to keep away here as well as this game down here. You may want to keep score just to add some consequences to it. But this is a terrific way to get your practice started and it's a lot of fun for the players. Okay, here's another great warm-up to start. It's a three-zone warm-up. We don't have enough players out here, but typically what we'd like to do is have three guys passing on a circle, three guys here. Then on the whistle, they'd come to the neutral zone and they'd play keep away. The next whistle, they go to the far end and play cross ice. And then once they're down there, they hear the whistle, they sprint back to their line. So you go from zone to zone to zone, so you're getting a good heart rate, you're working on some skills, you're competing a little bit, working on puck protection. So we don't have enough players here, we'll just kind of show you what it would look like right at this moment without switching zones. Set, go ahead, go! Okay, good. Go. New puck. Okay, good. So that's an example of what we would do. That would continue on for five to six minutes. We would keep on rotating through.